going to show you some of the Chromebook accessibility features that are relevant for uh, people with visual impairments. Um, when you click in the lower right corner and look for the Chromebook settings, sometimes there is an icon for Chromebook accessibility. If it's not visible, you can click on the gear icon, which will take you to the Chromebook settings window. Type in the word accessibility. And this choice always show accessibility options in the system menu. Go ahead and turn that switch on, and that will add an accessibility menu to this panel. Notice when I click on it, there are eight of the most common accessibility features available here that you can simply turn on and off. One of them is high contrast mode, which as you can see when you turn it on, it changes the color settings to make it a little easier for people to see. There's also two different kinds of magnifiers. There's a full screen magnifier, which magnifies the entire screen. If I roll my mouse near one of the edges, it will uh, slowly scroll and let me see the entire size of my screen. There's also a docked magnifier, which is very similar to the full screen magnifier, except it gives you a split screen. So my screen on the lower half of the split window is normal size, but wherever I hover my mouse, I can see a magnified view in the top half. And I can again click any one of these three on and off to make them work. And the green check mark always indicates that it's on. There are also a couple of screen reader options built into the Chromebook. One of them is called Select to Speak. I'll go ahead and turn that one on. Select to Speak will allow you to read any text that you see on virtually any web page. Um, it also works with some of our digital curricula that we have adopted here in the district. So for example, if I highlight this sentence and I type the search key and the S key at the same time, I'm going to go ahead and type search S now. Ceres is a city in Stanislaus County, California. The population was 45,417 at the and I clicked search S again to toggle that off, and that's why it stopped reading. So as you can hear, it uh, reads the text aloud and also highlights the text while it's being read. Again, that's called select to speak, and it has to be turned on. And you also have to use the keyboard shortcut to start it. There's also another uh, more intensive support called ChromeVox, and I'll turn this one on. What this one does is it will also read menu commands and it Chrome will tell Vox you spoken uh, feedback example, is ready. HTTPS colon slash slash www.google.com slash underscore slash Chrome slash new tab RLZ series. So as you could hear, uh, Chromevox was not only reading text to me, but it was also telling me what the uh, web address, the URL was that I was at. And if I uh, click on different tabs and click on different menu commands, it will read those to me as well. This is a lot more intensive than the select to speak. And um, it does, uh, we, we found in our experience that it does not always work perfectly. But it is worth a it is worth a look uh, because it is another option that's available. There are also more accessibility features than just these eight. If you click on the settings gear and go to settings and you type in accessibility again, there is a menu called Manage Accessibility Features, and this gives you many of those same eight features that were already available in the Quick menu. But there are other options as well. For example, here you see enable full screen magnifier. This is the same full screen magnifier that's available from the quick menu. So I can turn it on and off by toggling the switch. But while it's turned on, I can also choose what magnification level I want. The default is two times, but I can even go further to four or even greater magnification factors if I want. Same thing for the docked magnifier. Again, you have the choice of the default, which is four times magnification, or you can choose uh, any other magnification factor you like, all, all the way up to 18 or even 20. And you'll also see the command for the high contrast mode. There are other 
settings available from here as well. So this is worth a look, especially if there is a special need uh, that you're just not finding from the quick menu. Finally, I also wanted to make you aware of the Google Accessibility Blog. This is a good resource that Google maintains and they keep it up to date at least uh, relatively well and it will give you information about new features that are coming out. Google is rolling out a lot of new accessibility features to the Chrome operating system during the 1920 school year and uh, so this would be a good place to go to see uh, if there are new features and where you can go is you can click on products and features and then scroll down until you find the Chrome OS, the Chrome operating system, which is the operating system that's on all Chromebooks. And if you click on this link for Chromebook accessibility help, it will take you to several articles about some of their more recent features that they've added. You also see some uh, specific links to Chromebox help, Chromebook keyboard shortcuts, and some videos. Um, but I'll go ahead and click on Chromebook accessibility help so you can see what that looks like. And it takes you to a general Chromebook page, but if you scroll down, it will automatically open the accessibility features for you. And again, there's more information here as well uh, that might be helpful as you plan uh, for your students with visual impairments.